Hi, in the previous lecture, we have been talking about how to use this stochastic matrix in order to end up with the given page ranks associated to the given websites. Okay, but we have another approach, basically we have two more approaches, the steady state approach, when we have the directed graph, we can construct the transition matrix, this is the transition matrix, and the steady state is when the eigenvalue is equals to 1. So we just have to solve an eigenvalue eigenvector problem. So basically this equation, as you can see here, the eigenvalue is equals to 1, and the solution vector, this x, is going to store the eigenvector of this system, which is going to represent the page ranks according to the websites. So basically we have to solve an eigenvalue eigenvector problem where the eigenvalue is equals to 1, this is the equation of course, where H is the transition matrix of the hyperlinks that we have constructed out of the topology of the World Wide Web, and X is the final page rank of the given pages. This is the steady state approach. We are going to end up with the same results if we use the random surfer approach or random surfer model. So we have discussing that the importance of a web page is measured by its popularity, so how many incoming links it has. And a page rank can be defined by the probability that a random surfer on the web starts on a random page and follows hyperlinks and visits the given pages. So for example, if a given random surfer starts on the web page A, it is able to visit page B and page C. With 1 divided by 2 probability, it's going to choose B, and with 1 divided by 2 probability, it is going to choose C. For example, it choose B. Okay, if the given surfer is standing on website B, it has no other option than visiting website D. So that's why with one probability, it is going to visit D. Again, it has no other choice but to visit C and so on. We are going to end up with the same age transition matrix with the column stochastic feature, but this is the random surfer approach, random surfer model. So sum of column values equals to 1 because of the probabilities, this is what we have been discussing, it's very very similar to Markov chains. The transition matrix defines the next step. We are standing at a given website, what's the probability that we visit the accessible web pages? Okay. And we have the stationary distribution, which is the final page rank vector, and for Markov chains, how are we able to get the stationary distribution? We just have to solve an eigenvalue eigenvector problem again, as we have discussed for the steady state approach. So basically, we have to calculate the eigenvector when the eigenvalue is equals to 1, and this eigenvector is going to store the page ranks for the given websites accordingly. The first entry of the vector will be the page rank for the first website. The second value in the eigenvector will be the page rank for the second website and so on. So that's all about the steady state approach and the random surfer approach. Random surfer approach is quite important because it's very similar to Markov chains and we are going to talk a lot more about random surfer approach in the coming lectures. Thanks for watching.